G'day guys, back again. We're uh, heading over to Wairapa on this trip. I've got a couple of jokers coming up from Wellington to have a crack at some red deer. They want one each and we've got an afternoon to do it. So hopefully I can come up with the goods for them. The forecast is supposed to be clearing up. There's supposed to be a few showers and stuff today and then clearing up this afternoon with a northwesterly breeze, which is not really the best wind for up where we're heading, but um, it is the most predominant wind in that area. So I sort of know how to get around a little bit, hopefully. So um, see how we go anyway in this video. Hopefully you enjoy it guys and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. G'day, I'm Mike. G'day, I'm Rick. I'm looking forward to today. We've been waiting for, we haven't been hunting about six months, and we're really looking forward to going out with Clayton and uh, seeing how we go. Should be great. Yeah, I'm from uh, Greytown. This is going to be my first deer hunt with Clayton, so I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, it should be a good day. Sweet. And so, what do you do for a living, Rick? Uh, IT. IT. What about you, Mike? Yeah, I'm a businessman, so I oh. do a few things. Awesome. Nah, sweet as. And uh, come all the way up from. Well, I've come from Auckland. Auckland, oh, okay, sorry, yep. And I'm from Greytown. From Greytown, oh yeah, from both ends of the North Island, yep. eh? Don't hold it against me, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll try not to. <laughs> no, awesome, guys. So we've got an afternoon to try and get these guys a deer each. Um, we've just gone through the health and safety and firearm safety and all that sort of stuff and um, just explained to Rick on where to place the shot on the animal to try and make it as humane as quickly as possible. So uh, we're just going to jump on the bike, head up the hill and hopefully find some animals to have a crack at. Sweet. Let's go. Can't wait. Sweet. Good shot. Just give him another one. Oh no, he doesn't need it. He's down. down. Okay. Just to... Nice. Shaking a bit. Good stuff, mate. You just got your Thank first you. deer. <laughs> it's just pretty Good. intense, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, that's awesome. We had to take that one. I, I, honestly, that was a nice spiker, but we, we couldn't have snuck up because the spiker was there. Get in here. I'm, 
yielding up there. And it will help. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> you got your one though, mate. That's, that's the main it. thing. That's the main thing. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a nice big one for me to carry back out for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit of a carry. But that's what it's all about, mate. Good shit. Thank you. Awesome. Hey, thanks. Yeah, no worries. Exciting stuff. Right, there's your case there. There's nothing in the chamber? Nothing. I've taken the mag out as well. Okay, sweet ears, mate. Just to be safe. So we don't have to worry about it. Awesome. Right, here we have your deer, Rick. First one. What did you think of that experience, mate? Uh, it's pretty exciting. Um, of course, uh, couldn't have done it without your um, expertise uh, and knowing where to take us, but yeah, amazing, amazing experience. Uh, excited to have my first, shoot my first deer in Urata. Yeah. So um, we had to work for this one, really. We, um, we had an afternoon hunt to do it. Oh, battery's going flat in my MH11. This is about the fourth hunt I've been on, so it's done pretty well. Um, yeah, so we're limited on time, really, on to get two deer. We've still got Mike sitting up on the hill, so we don't know how he's got on. But um, we managed to spy these ones from way out, back over yonder. We put the sneak on and um, snuck up. There was a hind and a yearling that we really wanted to get, but we only had five minutes of daylight. As it was, you were struggling to see them ones. Um, and the spiker was in between us and them, so... Um, we took the spiker um, and those of you that have been hunting up here you know that I say no spikers but um, we do have an exception every now and again that we'd have to take a spiker because we've got no other option so taking one out every now and again is not going to hurt and I know what's coming off the property so good wee carry for me <laughs> so uh, yeah we've got a bit of a carry back to the quad alright so we've got Rick Steele gutted out and everything and now um, I have to carry it <laughs> So Happy days. I've got days. my MH11 on, Rick's got my MH8 on, lighten up the situation. It lends up bloody good, bloody good torches those. Not too heavy? Fucking light as. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do you want me to uh, lead the way so you, you get, you're going to be alright? Yeah, Right, so we just about halfway back to the bike, bit of gravy coming out, starting to wear me down a little bit now, but uh, there's a horrible slip here, we've got to navigate our way around, with sinking mud and all that sort of stuff that slows you down when you're trying to carry an animal out, but, um, surely, slowly but surely, as they say, is it? Awesome job. Time for a rest. Get the lungs working. Whew. Just about on the top on this side, so we can just walk back around the top here, hopefully. I just don't want to ride the bike through this paddock because he's got lambs and ewes in here. It's a retrieval. So uh, here we go, anyway. We've um, come over the hill and we found Mike, and he got himself a spiker as well. Yeah, I had to break it down to get it across. So here, here it is. is, here. We've just come down the hill. It's done a, a great job. Actually. My legs feel like sewing machines. <laughs> uh, good, rattly. Good, good stuff, mate. But oh. I bloodied it up. That's I'm ready work. for the, the long haul home. That's right, I'll carry those back legs. I've just done a bit of a carry for Rick, so I might as well carry on carrying. How do you feel? You feel alright up to it? Yeah, no, fine. Good as gold. Yeah. Well, that was a big hump up the hill. Yep. It's only about 50 metres, but it seems longer. Bit of gravy coming off the head there, Mike. Yeah, well, I once had a guy tell me that I was going to lift to 86. Oh, yeah? That hill, I thought it might not lift till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, the main thing is, mate, we're back up the top of the hill, back to the quad. We've got front legs, back legs, back stakes in the bag, and another whole deer over there. So, all in all, the balls day, boys did uh, bloody good. Yep, we left a few for Easter. Around. A couple of nice uh, velvety stags you spotted there as well. So yeah, bloody awesome guys. I'm 
might do this twice. But anyway, guys, that, that's a bit of a wrap for this video. We've got to get back. It's about uh, half past nine at the moment, so we've got to get back to the truck yet. And uh, these boys have got to drive back to um, Wellington. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.